Hello, hello, welcome back to Jorb's Scribbles on the Screen and talks about every card in the Scythe Aspire compendium. As I start to go insane, um, about two thirds of the way through the commons for the first class. Today, talking about Pommel Strike, Pommel Strike's fine. Uh, that is the first thing that I want to say about Pommel Strike. The card's okay. It is reasonably priced for what it does. Dealing 9 damage is particularly good early in the game, or damage is at a premium. Drawing one card is particularly good later on in the game. It's important to note that drawing one card, like adding a card to your deck that draws one card doesn't accelerate your deck, because you had to spend one card draw to draw the card. So you're at like minus one, minus one card drawn when you draw the card because you had to spend a card draw to draw it and then it draws one card when you play it you're back to neutral you didn't actually accelerate your deck right but model strike does upgrade to draw two cards at which point it does accelerate your deck and also early on in the run you're going to be like picking between pommel strike and twin strike and twin strike deals one more damage uh if you're not thinking about strength or anything uh so that's like cool a pommel strike draws a card and so having a Pommel Strike in your deck instead of a Twin Strike starts to be a pretty big deal later on in the run as you're in a situation where you really have to draw Corruption really quickly or something like that. You're looking at your hand, you'd rather have a Pommel Strike in there than a Twin Strike so that you have a card that gets you a bit closer to that Corruption. So that's one thing to note for sure. The card is okay. Now, Pommel Strike actually comes up quite often in infinite type decks as ironclad and there are two main reasons for this one is that if you draw two cards with pommel strike with an empty draw pile and discard pile it counts as two shuffles for sundial so sundial is a relic every three times you shuffle your deck you gain two energy and it might look at first like if you played a bunch of pommel strike pluses with sundial well, it would cost you three energy to get three shuffles, and you only get two back, so you're minus one energy every time through, and you're going to run out of energy really quickly. What actually happens is two energy gives you four shuffles. And so you gain half an energy every time that you proc Sundial uh, with these Pommel Strikes. A third of an energy? Probably a third of an energy. Um, which is different, right? That, that means that you're now actually going infinite. You have infinite damage. If you have a shrug it off in there as well, you could have infinite block too. And so this is like a common card. You're happy to add it to your deck, act one. All of a sudden, if you had a sundial, if you've got like Havocs or True Grits or Burning Pacts or Fiend Fires or Corruptions, all of a sudden you can exhaust your deck down to a situation where you have a couple of pommel strike pluses and you're going infinite very quickly and that can be a way to like beat the act 2 boss fight for example it can even be a way to beat the act 3 or 4 boss fight it's infinite it's <laughs> that's a lot um so that's something to definitely look out for and pommel strike also in decks which are about exhausting down towards certain combinations of cards, even if you're not going infinite, can be incredibly valuable because it is non-skill based card draw. So if you have battle trances and shrug it offs and stuff like that in your deck, those are card draw at the start of the fight for sure, but if you're using corruption to get rid of all of your cards, then those are going to exhaust and you're not going to have them anymore. And so if you end up at the end of all of this trying to play a copy of Body Slam plus three times or something like that, well, a Pommel Strike lets you play it and then you play Pommel Strike and draw it again. Whether, whereas a Shrug It Off may no longer be in your deck at all because you had to exhaust it earlier. So that's a thing to look out for, for sure. It can be a relevant thing. Depending on the exact sort of exhaust deck that you're playing, it can also not matter at all. A third way that it interacts that's sort of tiny is uh, if you like headbutt a card on top of your deck, Pommel Strike lets you draw it immediately. So would any other card draw, but it's nice to have that flexibility from a common attack that you're adding to your deck, basically to soul back when Elite fights probably, but now all of a sudden it has all these other things that it can do later on in the game. So, Pommel Strike, typically a card that you'll take early just for the damage. 
And it is nice to have one cost attacks as Ironclad because you have so many high quality two cost attacks that you're probably more excited to be adding to your deck. And it's nice to be able to fit in a one cost attack so you have a good card to play with your last energy left over against Gremlin Knob or Lagavulin or whatever. Um, but you don't expect it to be great later. Um, but sometimes you will actually be surprised. I'm not going to say that like you go infinite on Ironclad 50% of the time or anything, but I think like 20 to 25% of the time is not an unreasonable number for how often I end up killing things on Ironclad with infinite combos of some sort, and certainly Sundial is part of that. So that's not like <laughs> for every fight in the game. That's like 20 to 25 percent of the time i will have a deck that like wins a couple of fights in the game with an infinite combo of some sort and sometimes it gets more degenerate and you end up winning basically every fight with them anyway that's pommel strike um another attack that sort of looks very straightforward on the surface but when you dig into it there are all sorts of really interesting interactions going on there as the game progresses and getting the most out of your pommel strike pick is going to be a challenging thing for sure. Thanks for tuning in.